going to be a fun hacky video where we're going to learn how to use Olama powered chat within your iPad. So you're going to use Olama that runs on your Mac or computer or if you have got an iOS device like let's say iPhone or iPad then you have an application which is powered by this private model that is served from your computer. I found it really exciting. I found it fascinating. I don't know honestly like how many of you will find it fascinating. But when I got it work, I actually loved it. I, I could like feel that, you know, like ultimately I've made a large language model run privately on my computer, send that to the iPad as a server and then get it done. Um, I found it quite fascinating. So I decided to make a complete tutorial about it. This might be a little more technical for a lot of people, but if you are uh, familiar, then this should be really straightforward. I'm going to do this on Mac. So there are certain things that I do on Mac might be different on Windows or Linux. Uh, my apologies if that is not very clear for you. And the second thing is you need either an iPhone or an iPad because we're going to literally deal with an iPad, iOS application. So the start with, I recently came across this application called Enchanted LLM and it called iOS app for Olama needs, Olama models. I don't know when it was more, uh, launched, but uh, I could like see already people using it, but this is the first time I came across this. So it has a lot of features. The main thing is it takes the Olama server as an input, like the powering engine, and then it works with everything else. Like you have got conversation history, you've got dark mode, light mode, and all the other things. Let me quickly pull up my iPad and then show you like you can go to the Apple store and then you can kind of like say, okay, enchanted LLM. And once you search for it, you will get it. And once you go to the iPad, I have installed it. So this is how you will get it. Like I, I have started chatting with that, like my typical question, then I could chat, but right now Olama is unreachable because I'm going to actually show you how to do that. And uh, first thing first, you need to first install this application on iPad or iOS. So that is one thing. The second thing is you need to have Olama installed. See, first of all, install Olama that I have already covered a video, which I link it in the YouTube description, or it should be very straightforward. All you have to do is go to Olama, Olama AI, and uh, you can like literally download the model and install it. You can download Olama and install it and then have a default model. At this point, you should have Olama setup done. You should have that application, the iOS application done. Once you have these two done, the next thing is you need something called local tunnel on your computer. So you open your terminal and just see this local tunnel. So the problem right now that I could not do is I could not directly send the Olama server to my iPad. Um, but if you have got a better server setup, let me know in the comment section. But what I ended up doing is I ended up tunneling it. You can use ngrok. Ngrok, you have to create an account, add the authentication key. So I didn't want to go through the pain, but but yeah, if you're a fan of ngrok, definitely go with ngrok. But I'm going to show you how to do with uh, local tunnel. So for you to install local tunnel, all you have to do is copy this and then go to you whatever terminal that you use and install local tunnel. So that will basically install local tunnel. In my case, I've got local tunnel, so I don't have to install it again. Once that is done, our basic setup is done. We have installed Olama. Let's say that you have downloaded the model and you are ready. I link my Olama video tutorial. You have got enchanted LLM on the iPad. And third thing is you have local tunnel installed. Now with that assumption, first thing we are going to do is we're going to start the Olama server. So we are going to say Olama serve. Once you do Olama serve on your local host, port 11434, I guess like 11434, this model is currently running and is being served as an API endpoint. So the easiest way to verify that is, you can again say Olama serve, and then it would immediately say error listen TCP, and this particular port is already in use. That means this particular port is already in use with, let's say Olama model, our assumption is that, but that is most likely right. So Olama model in my case, I don't know if it is Mistral or Llama is being served through this particular port. So on localhost 11434, right now we are streaming or we have an API endpoint or server running 
where anybody can hit the endpoint and get a response back. So that is where we are. So now that we know that Olama server is running, let's go ahead and then start tunneling. So how do we tunnel? It's quite simple. So you go to the local tunnel. Once you have local tunnel successfully installed, all you have to do is you have to say LT dash dash port and what are the port that you want to tunnel. So this is the only place that is a little shady because now you are actually sending your data through somebody else. The good thing is local tunnel is open source, uh, but if you want to use ngrok, that's if you like more secure stuff, you can use ngrok. But again, um, if you don't like sharing anything on internet, maybe this setup will not work for you. You need to completely have some local server which you can listen like either on iPad, but at this point, at least like I'm tunneling it through local tunnel so that in the same network, my iPad, um, my, um, my Mac are in the same network. Still, I could not get the link. So with local tunnel, you can basically do it anywhere. For example, you can have a computer at home where Olama is running and local tunnel link is basically you're taking the local host link and then tunneling it to the internet. You can take that value take that url and put it in ipad and you can use it anywhere so now now from local host or a local network you are going into internet that's what you're doing so i'm going to just use lt here let me go to the new tab lt dash sorry lt dash dash port what is a port 11434 once we do 11434 we get a tunnel link https modern wings attack dot local dot loca.ld so now local tunnel has recently introduced a password now this is the link that you have to put in the app the app that you have got on the ipad but before you do that first click the link once you click the link let me copy the link come back here paste the link once you click the link then it will ask you for a password and how do you get the password it's quite simple and straightforward copy this go back to your terminal and then just run this like for example just run this that will give you an ip that you have to copy and then go back here paste it without the percentage of course click to submit and once you do that it knows olama is running so the same olama is running here 127.0.0.1.11434 the same local port stuff is now available on the internet. So what we have done so far is we have got a computer. We have down downloaded and installed and ran Olama with a large language model that is being served, but it was served locally. Now you have taken the serving endpoint and then you are streaming it or tunneling it to the internet. And this is where it is happening. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take that particular thing and then add it to the app. So I'm going to go here, go click the hamburger menu and click settings. Where do I settings? I've got settings, settings. And here I have to add the link. And what is the link that I have to add? I've got HTTPS colon slash slash modern wings. What a name modern wings dash attack dot loca dot lt at this point click save once you click save you come back here and then you want to wait and see for some time whether olama becomes reachable so at this point you can see that the error is gone that means olama is reachable so click the hamburger menu if you want and then see the history or click here the new one and you can also see like what model you are using and you can basically now start saying whatever you want like for example send it help me with the factor factorial i've put the pencil emoji it doesn't matter a lot but what you might notice at this point is that this is basically running on your local computer so it's loading the model and then doing all the things that it is supposed to do and then it, it is showing you the result ultimately so it, it gives you the result so now I can talk in voice also here, like you have the option. So I can go ahead and then say, tell me a joke about Elon Musk. Send it. And it says, why did Elon Musk? It has the same joke. Maybe I should ask something else. Um, 
create a small tweet and then say why YouTube is completely messed up. I hope uh, the algorithm doesn't punish me for this. So you have the tweet. So it says just spent an hour trying to find a video only to realize algorithm suggested me videos I've already watched. Let's ask something else. And every time something is happening, you can actually see that thing being displayed here. So when I speak, you can actually see that coming here on my local machine and getting executed. So let me ask one more question. What is your name, by the way? By the way, I did not, I don't have a name. Okay. Are you created by open AI? And then you can see, no, I'm not created by open AI. It's okay. Who is Sam Altman? It still has the same question. Okay. That's bad. Who is Sam Altman? Send the question and you can see Sam Altman. Okay. Is Sam Altman a good person or a bad person? Sam Altman, a good person or a bad person. Okay. Now it gives me some uh, philosophical note about what is good, what is bad, but we have successfully done it. We have ran a local large language model on our computer, at least in my case on my Mac that is now going to the internet and that internet API endpoint is being hit from the iPad using whatever this link is and uh, it, it works successfully. I know this is not one of the most polished tutorials. I decided to create this because I found it fun, but, uh, but let me know in the comment section, what do you feel? But before you go, the thing that you need to do is you need to first shut down the local host. Cool. Once you shut down the local host, this will not work. Right. And it will not work here also. This is very important. Don't let it running. The second thing is you need to shut down the Olama server as well. So shut down the Olama server and shut down the local host. And at this point, you're not running any server and your app will not work. What I'm yet to figure out is how to bypass this local tunnel thing that I'm doing and rather use the same link and then use it. I tried a bunch of options to take the link directly from Mac and then give it. Maybe if you're on Windows, it might work. Like there is a good possibility that it might work. Let me know in the comment section what you feel about it. But otherwise, I found it quite fascinating. I found it really fun and happy to put together this tutorial and also to see a local model running on my computer powering um, an iPad application. Quite fun. Thanks to the developer for making it open source. And also thanks to the developer for giving the iPad application itself, which we don't have to build it ourselves. See you in another video. Happy prompting.